It's two in the morning and Shabnam's kitchen is already buzzing. <laughs> it's Ramadan, the holy month of fasting for Muslims. The meal has to be eaten before the break of dawn. At this unusual hour, Shabnam has a few unlikely visitors. A group of researchers have to conduct an experiment in her kitchen. This effort, they hope, will make life a little better for rural women like Shabna. Sixteen-year-old Shabnam lives in Kheratpur village, located in the Indo-Gangetic plains of North India. In an agricultural economy, most families here live on less than a dollar a day. There is little access to basic amenities, be it health, education, or even electricity. Most girls drop out before completing high school, only to take on the mantle of household chores. Shapnam spends several hours inside a smoke-filled kitchen. Inhaling this smoke puts her at a high risk of contracting diseases like asthma, tuberculosis, and cancer. The soot on the walls is only a small reminder of what might be in the lungs of rural women who spend hours in this space. I have experienced this personally. You know, my grandmother in the village in South India, where I come, originally come from, used to cook with these mud stones, and I have experienced them. I know what it did to my grandmother. So we have to solve this problem. In India, nearly 600 million people do not have access to efficient means of cooking. Exposure to indoor smoke takes a toll of more than 1.6 million deaths a year. Despite these hardships, traditional mud stoves have flourished down the ages. They are cheap, convenient, and above all, have a traditional legacy. However, mud stoves are not the most environment friendly. They are low on energy efficiency and emit harmful pollutants. Black carbon is one such particulate matter released from incomplete combustion of biomass fuel. Globally, Biomass and diesel vehicles account for a big chunk of black carbon in the atmosphere. It is increasingly becoming a cause of worry for climate scientists. Black carbon may be one of the strongest contributors to global warming, simply because it intercepts sunlight. Its lifetime is few days to few weeks compared to the carbon dioxide, which is centuries to thousand years. And if we cut down the black carbon emissions today, take for example, giving improved energy efficient stoves to all of India to live, this problem would be gone two weeks from now. In 2009, a few scientists and research organizations came together to give an impetus to the clean cook stove mission, named Project Surya, it had to study the impact of biomass burning on air quality, both indoor and outdoor. As a first step, 
an improved battery-operated cook stove was developed by the team. A traditional mud stove uses large pieces of wood, cow dung or agricultural waste which don't burn efficiently due to high moisture content. The women constantly blow air into the stove to keep the fire going. This results in thick smoke due to inefficient combustion. The improved cook stove, on the other hand, requires one-third the amount of wood. It uses small dry pieces of wood that need less energy to burn. A small battery-operated fan at the bottom of the stove pulls in the air to aid efficient combustion. The smoke is much less compared to a mud stove. Traditional cook stoves burn with a thermal efficiency of 10%. An improved cook stove takes it up to 35% or even more. Every household in Kheratpur was given a set of the improved cook stove and solar lantern by Project Surya. Initially, the team met with its share of roadblocks. तो अच्छे से बात करते थे लेकिन ज्यादातर लोग नहीं बात करते थे या महिलाएं तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं बोलती तक नहीं थी और घर आने की तो दूर बात है अंदर जाना भी बहुत ही मुश्किल था तो इसमें भी तुम लोगों को सहयोग देना होगा इसके लिए इट टुक अनटायरिंग राउंड्स ऑफ विलेज मीटिंग्स टू गेट द विलेजर्स ऑन बोर्ड कुछ अमेरिका से आ रहे हैं वो लोग भी तुम्हें कुछ ट्रेनिंग दे देंगे हम लोग भी तुम्हें विमेन वॉलंटियर्स लाइक शबनम एंड खुशबू वर रिक्रूटेड टू एंगेज द कम्युनिटी मोर स्ट्रांगली पहले हम लोग अपने अपने घर में चूल्हा इस्तेमाल किया फिर बाद में लोगों को बताना शुरू किया कि ऐसे ऐसे जलाओ जब वो लोग समझ नहीं पाते थे कि कहीं ऐसा न हो चूल्हा देने के बाद कहीं कुछ करे जो पैसा लें ज्यादा लें इसीलिए लोग डर रहे थे इसलिए उनको लोगों को समझाना थोड़ा मुश्किल था कर तो मुझे बस यही आती थी कि डेली सुबह जाओ दूसरे के दरवाजे पर तो उनको आवाज दो तो किसी को अच्छा लगता था किसी को बुरा लगता था कोई कहता सुबह सुबह हो ही आ गई हैं लोग। The project monitored air quality in two stages. अब इस चूल्हे में हम देख रहे हैं कि दोनों में कमी आई है। Initially with mud stoves and later with improved cook stoves. In a year's time, there was some interesting data at hand. While the mud stoves were in use, the black carbon concentration in indoor air peaked during cooking hours. When replaced with clean cook stoves, this peak dropped significantly. While women in Kheratpur now have a chance to breathe easy, many others are not as fortunate. In the open market, improved cook stoves cost anything between $40 and $80. Not everyone can afford them. अब ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा यही है कि हद से हद अस्सी रुपया ले ली और इससे आगे के हस्ती नहीं सब खाएं वाले हैं कमाने वाले भी नहीं हैं तो कैसे करेंगे? It is clear that popularizing improved cook stoves on a mass scale will not be easy. The costs must reduce significantly while technology too needs to improve. What we really need to do is firstly ensure that governments and other sources fund research and development in this area because it's only through that kind of effort that we can come up with efficient solutions and uh, devices which are affordable, which are low in cost. So I think that's an important part. बहुत फर्क है इसमें लकड़ी कम लगती है धुआं भी नहीं निकलता है बर्तन भी नहीं काला पड़ता है इनमें हमारे सर में दर्द होती तो चूल्हा में तो इसमें नहीं होता शादी के बाद में हम जरूर लेकर चले जाएंगे जब जस्ती जो नहीं देंगे नहीं हमारे गांव में चूल्हा नहीं है चूल्हा देखकर हमें मन करता है कि हम इसको चुरा ले जाए Project Surya reached out to 500 homes in a tiny village. 
but it is needed in more than 100 million households in India who are deprived of the basic right to breathe clean air.